Hey guys, it's Corosum here and today we're gonna learn how to pass data between components using Vue.js event bus. Alright, so let's get started. Well, in Vue.js, there are several ways to pass data between components. If the two components have a direct relationship like parent to child, we can directly pass data. But if the two components not having a direct relationship like siblings or any other complicated scenario, we can use UJS event bus to pass data. Event bus is not as hard as it sounds. It basically is a message publishing and subscribing pattern. With event bus, what we basically do is one component publishes a piece of data and another component which subscribe to that event can receive that piece of data. Actually, all the components in the project can receive that piece of data using event bus. All right, so let's see how we can implement that. In this example, we have multiple components. Actually, they are siblings. One component publishes some data with event bus and all the other components, including siblings or parents, can receive that data. To demonstrate this, I have a Vue.js project with some components. Uh, let me open this up. As you can see, we have a header component. We have a sidebar component with some with a with a select box, and also we have a content component with a list of products, and we have a footer component, and also we have a parent component that holds all the above components. So now you know the components hierarchy of this application. So in this example, what we're going to do is when the user selects an item from the select box, that data should be received to all the other components in this page. Actually, the real world use case we're going to build is when the user selects a category from the select box, the products list should be filtered accordingly. First, I'll show you how event bus can be implemented and how to pass data between components so that you can get the idea how you can implement it on your project on your own. And then I'm going to use that implementation to build a real world use case here, which is when the user selects a category from the select box, the product list must be filtered accordingly. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new file inside the source folder. I'm going to name that eventbus.js. And let's open this up and I'm going to import view. And then I'm going to create a new view instance. I'm going to name that event bus. And I'm going to export this object so that other components can access this. All right. Next, I'm going to open up sidebar component. And as you can see, we have a select box. What we're going to do here is I'm going to import the event bus file we just created. Just like this. All right, now I'm going to create a new method and I want that method to be called every time user selects an item from this select box. I'm going to name this method select category. And I'm going to add this function to the change event of this select box, just like that. So every time the user selects an item from this select box, this method will be called. All right, so inside this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish 
the value selected from this select box. To do that, I'm going to use our event bus. I'm going to use event bus and this event bus has a special method called dollar sign emit. This emit function accepts two arguments. The first argument is the event name that we want to trigger. We can call it whatever we want. I'm going to name that select category. And as the second argument, we need to pass the value we need to publish, which is the value selected from this select box. We have already set up a V model for that. So we can simply use this variable value here as our second argument, just like that. So that this value can be accessed anywhere in our project. All right, so now I want to get this value into our header component. To receive the data passed by the sidebar component, this header method must be subscribed to the event that we triggered uh, when the user selects an item from this select box. All right, in order to do that, I'm going to import event bus here as well. Just like this. And inside the created hook, I'm going to call this event bus and this has another special method called dollar sign on and this on method also accept two arguments the first argument is the event name which is select category and the second argument is a callback function i'm going to use an arrow function here so the value passed by sidebar component this value can be accessed using this parameter in our callback function all right so to make sure everything is working i'm just going to add an alert so that we can make sure everything is working if everything is working correctly i should get an alert from our header component with the value passed by our sidebar component which is the value selected by the user all right so i'm going to test this i'm going to open up the browser i'm going to hit reload and i'm going to select a value from this drop down and sure it is we get an alert with the item we selected in our select box we get the exact same value selected in the select box all right, so this means we have successfully passed data between two components. All right, so now make it more fancy and do something useful. Um, instead of this alert, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that value to the page title. Just like this. And I'm going to reload. And as you can see, the selected value from the select box appears in our header now i'm going to do the same with the other components i'm going to open up our let's say content content component i'm going to just copy this import statement here and and this function Just like this. Um, instead of title, I'm going to use this filter category variable in this component. And let's display this somewhere on the page here. I'm going to add the paragraph tab and let's add some text showing. category.
and also let's make it more fancy just like this let's test this let's open it up and reload and if we have selected some category it will show here as a little title so that makes more sense to the user all right now we have successfully passed that value from sidebar components to our content component as well like this you can pass data between any number of components inside your application so now you got the basic idea of Vue.js event bus and you can implement it on your own so why don't we make this a real world application I mean real world scenario let's use this value passed by the sidebar component and use that value to filter out the products in our content component all right so inside our content component i'm going to create a new computed property here i'm going to name that property filtered products just like this so what we are going to do here is uh, we have a products array and inside a product object we have a field called category and we are checking if the selected category by the user equals to this category uh, of each product so in order to do that we are using filter method uh, in JavaScript all right um, I'm going to return our products array and we are going to use filter function so in this function and we are checking uh, a condition that condition would be like um, the filtered category should be present and should not be null and if it is present then we are checking if the product category equals to selected category so if this category is not present we are just uh, we need to get all the products so we are just passing true so just like that so now instead of the products now we need to loop through this filtered product here all right so let's test this i'm going to reload the page and since we haven't selected any category we should see the, all the products and if we select a category then uh, the products should be filtered according to the category we have selected Alright, so we learned what Vue.js event bus is and learned how to implement it and finally we applied it to a real world scenario. This is so important when passing data between so many components in a complicated project. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.